and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond sector C, you will need to return to the central transit hub in area nine and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. To the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. The Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. 
the semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. valuable addition to the Black Mesa team. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team the Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's has been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough. Aw, oh, man, you cut the pony. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Can this wait? Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have got You're living in the past. Work. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Hello, Dr. Cross.
I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him. Maxwell's here's demon. Something to think about it's for the cold in time. here. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Hold it right there, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Have you seen my coffee cup? Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Good morning, Gordon. <laughs> Give me some space, man. Big day today, eh, Freeman? Later, Gordon. What are you I doing can't still the last time around I've up seen here? the lab a buzz with such excitement. Indeed, quite invigorating. Ta-ta. Gordo, we've you're been on waiting Sunday. all we morning to begin watch. the experiment. Up to it. I've got this under control, Gordon. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Gordon, this had better be important. Go bother someone else, Gordon. Excuse me, Gordon. You forgot but I'm to carry the now. two. Or was it the three? I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's been spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from popular scientific periodicals. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Hopefully things will die down around here soon. There's been a lot of suits coming and going. Probably Union Busters. No idea what's going on, do you? You can't be serious. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber? This half an is hour going ago? to have to wait, Gordon. There was someone downstairs asking. Just a minute, Gordon. Or was it upstairs?
Morning, champ. Hello. Has anyone actually even seen your degree, Freeman? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. I hope things return to normal. Experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Dr. Freeman? Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. What's up, Doc? Later, Gordon. Hi, Gordon. Hello. Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. A bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? It was never meant to do this in the first place. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment.
By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. Well, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful. Push that over here. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely, I just don't feel- Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Very good. We'll take it from here. Stage one emitters in three, two, 
phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. <laughs> Attention, Sector 
the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Okay, let's go for it. Here comes more of those things! This is as far as I go.
Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. I'm following you, Freeman. I'll watch your back. suspect some alien subterfuge behind this failure. Lead on, Freeman. My mistake, Freeman. Oh, well, at any rate, over there's the weapon that I spoke of. I've had my fill for experience today. Um, you're welcome to stay if you want. You're going to have to leave me here, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> 